Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here. I sound a little sick. That's because I am, again. But that's none of your concern. You came here for Halo News. Am I even a Halo News YouTuber? I don't even know at this point. Anyways, we got the Halo Infinite drop pod for August. It came in hot and heavy on the 9th, and there were a bunch of new features and stuff, and we talked about cross-core visors, the ability to add Mark 7 helmet attachments to different helmets, challenges on the pause menu, but really there was a lot more. And we're gonna go over all of the changes as well as some leaks. But if you like Halo and you wanna stay up to date, make sure you subscribe. We are so close to 10K subs. It's ridiculous actually and it would probably make me feel better all right let's get into the video so there's a ton of changes in multiplayer the volume of a nearby player shield recharging has been lowered especially when the recharging player is out of sight so that's a good change choppers will no longer continue boosting after being disabled by a dynamo grenade meh the spanker's damage radius has been improved and now more consistently damages enemies. Thank God. That thing is awful. It's up there with the gravity hammers, the worst weapons in the game. A fully charged shot from the plasma pistol will now correctly deplete all shields, including active overshields. I didn't even know that was a problem. Players can no longer mark enemies who are obscured behind waist-high cover. Headshots more consistently register on enemies without shields when using precision weapons such as the sidekick or the stalker rifle. What the heck? What does that mean? Were they just not registering? I don't understand. Some custom game changes, some free-for-all changes, and we're gonna skip all the rest of that stuff because it's not really that crazy. So now the fourth challenge slot will now always be enabled when a premium battle pass is equipped. Thank God, this was a bug, I guess, when season two came out and it took a long time to fix. So that's kind of sad. Some visor color fixes for helmets. There's also some balance changes, including the grapple shot. To maintain multiplayer balance, players will no longer be able to exit a vehicle to cancel an enemy's grapple jack. So that's when people were just getting out of the wasp after you um, hit them with the grapple and they were able to keep getting in and out. Non-tank vehicles such as the Ghost or Warthog are now more resistant to small arms fire. All of these changes apply to multiplayer and a few apply to campaign as well. The Warthog can now be knocked around more easily by players using weapons such as the Spanker or the Repulsor. And then there's some known issues. All in all, some good stuff. There has been a ton of leaked customization coming out and a lot of it is around the HCS. So I'm just going to throw up all the... Uh, different coatings that there are going to be. And let me know in the comments down below which one you like the most. I will say that it's kind of ironic that Space Station has a completely gold armor coating and they just sold a gold armor coating. Awkward. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!